There's nothing more powerful in this world than watching another human help somebody who's struggling. The most powerful thing we can do as humans is get others closer to their dreams. Our entire channel is about making good in this world and making dreams come true. Thank you for watching. Please watch to the end. When you were a little boy, what was your dream? Being a livestock man, really. So this was your dream? And this how you make your living? Cattle. Man, just imagine having to lose everything at 79 and start all over. Joe, we're gonna try to do a little bit for you. Sixty years, that's, that's a big deal. What's her name? Judy. Judy? Yeah. She just don't want to come back. She doesn't want to come back. No, she is. It hurts too much. What you doing for the anniversary? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we could do something for the anniversary. <laughs> yeah. Y'all want to do something? All right, we'll put something together for you. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah. If you were to ask her what her dream was, what would she say? Dream of getting back home. I'll see you tomorrow, all right, Joe? All right, Joe. All right, Joe. What are you selling? Um, selling bracelets and earrings. What would you say is your dream in life? My dream in life. Mm -hmm. To help my family since my dad doesn't have a lot of money and I've been trying to help him at least with what I can. My dad's thinking about moving. Where is he going to move to? Texas to get a better job there. When he told me that that kind of affected him more knowing that I'm not going to see him for like a very long time. Can I ask you another question? Yeah. What's something you're struggling with? Mm -hmm. Lately, I've been having anxiety and depression. Really? And I've been dealing with that. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes I decide to quit and do stuff I shouldn't be doing. And then I think about my family and people who care about me. Something inside me tells me that like they don't even care, mm. and I try my best to keep them on. How much money would help your family? For me, it doesn't matter how much it is. I don't really care how long it takes. Or is there anything you guys need? Well, since COVID started, for us rent has been going a little higher, and it's kind of hard to pay. Grocery sometimes. Um, Hard. We don't have that much money and we eat what we have. Yeah. My mom actually gets 
clothes from people who don't need to wear it and sometimes I keep it with me and my brother. Well, I love your bracelets. Thank you. They're so pretty. Do you think you can make me one? Yeah, I could make you one. How much would it cost? Well, probably the same, $3. Three dollars? Yeah. But since you're a nice person and I like you, I'll, I'll do it like for two. Two dollars? Yeah. Okay, well, let me see what I got in my wallet. Hold on. Three do two dollars? I'm gonna give you a thousand. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Alright, we're in the principal's office right now, but we're about to go surprise Ashley in the classroom with this check. Hey, this is How are you doing? My team, they came to y'all's business fair and they met Ashley and, and when she told everybody the story that she wanted to keep her family together and she was, you know, wanting to sell bracelets to financially help her family. We wanted to tell her story to the world and we put it on the internet and um, our fan base on TikTok and Instagram raised $26,000. I hope this really inspires you to to build your business and to chase your dreams and your uh, your love for your family is is really special and and I hope that this makes everything a little bit easier for you guys. Hey, what's your dream? I would love to go to Florida one more time before I die. What is it about Florida that you love so much? The ocean. How, how many times have you seen the ocean? Twice? That's it. That's it? When I was growing up, we were very poor. And that's why I love this house. It was mine, and I never had anything this nice before. I've been working on this thing for so many years, and this happened, it just, I just want to give up, but I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to do it. I can't give up. I've cried, uh, I can't cry no more. There's no more tears right now. Well, Lord, you gave me this one. You have to give me another one. Because I knew I didn't have no insurance. Okay, I just got off the phone with my travel agent, and they're going to be able to do an all expense paid $7,500 vacation to Florida. And we're going to give them $15,000 so they can get to rebuilding their home. We're about to pull back up. I can't wait to see their reaction. Come here, Miss Barbara. You too, Mr. Bill. How y'all doing? I'm just looking at this. I just put all that side, front windows, that roof and everything on there in the last five years. That's a hundred year old house. Yeah? It's made in 1900. Where are you living right now? In a Super 8 hotel. So Miss Barbara, you said you had a dream. I would love to go to Florida one more time before I die. Uh, when we went before, we sat out on the balcony Beautiful. Beautiful. The moon, see the moon reflect off the ocean. Wow. You think she's corny, but. No. No, no. not to me. Cause but I uh, it's a. Uh, I remember when I first saw it, I was 16 years old. Miss Barbara, I want, I want you to read this. I want you a little letter. Oh, oh my gosh. We're going to hook you up with our travel agent, and she'll set up everything for you. 
you're not going to have to lift a finger. She'll, she'll put y'all on a flight if you want. She'll get you a rental car if you want. Whatever you want. I got this for both of y'all. Oh, bless your heart. Oh, oh my gosh. Bless your heart. Well, I'm going to tell you, we're very grateful. Thank you. I mean, very grateful. People like you is making our dream come true. We want to get that money wired over to you guys tomorrow. I don't know. I can't put it more. I just don't know how to do it. But we do thank you for the bottom of our heart. Absolutely. Well, y'all are on a winning streak, and it's never going to stop. What if it just keeps getting better and better and better and better and better and better? And better but I don't better. know. If it gets too much better, I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, yes, you will. <laughs> You'll figure it out. What's your dream in life? Um, become a princess. Okay, who's your favorite princess? Are there any things that you're dealing with or struggling with right now? Well, I am going through cancer. We have some surprises for you. So <laughs> I'm I'm Princess Sarah Culberson <laughs> from Sierra Leone, West Africa. What would it be like if we went to Disneyland together today, you and me, and you actually get to be a princess? We're gonna make you into a princess. What do you think? Yes. yes? Okay. <laughs> beautiful dress for you to wear, a tiara for you to wear, and we want your dreams to come true, and you get to be a Disney princess today. <laughs> Look at your there dress! Well, let's get you ready, okay? Okay. Ooh. Oh my god, I love it. I love everything about it. Is this a dream? Because if it's a dream, then do not wake me up. <laughs> so excited. I wanted to scream. <laughs> Tell Gaston I said hi! What's up, man? Shooting a little bit. Have you made one yet? Made a couple. You like basketball? Yeah. So how did you end up in this situation? I hurt my back bench pressing at the gym. I couldn't feel anything or move anything from my neck down. And then the next morning, put in like a coma for 36 hours. If I were to ask you what your dream is, what would you say? I wanted to just coach like high school, like AAU basketball. That was like my favorite time growing up. That was so much fun. Who's your favorite player? Steph. How good would it feel to be able to play basketball again? That would be nice. What if we surprise Ariel with NBA Finals tickets and an entire dream experience? There's this young man. This kid's entire life was ripped away, and his entire life was basketball. We want to get him involved with the NBA for the finals. I could introduce him to some players. I know Draymond, Steph, Clay, and all those guys. Go! Yeah! Ariel has no idea that he's going to the NBA finals. Y'all ready? Let's go. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. watching on TV right now? Golden State. Golden State? Basketball. Yeah. The finals? Yeah. I'm gonna need you to pack your bags. You're going to game two, baby! You got two oh. tickets! Oh. <laughs> yeah! yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is crazy. You guys are so good. <laughs> wow. Alright, we're about to pick Ariel up in the dream machine! Ariel! 
the game too! Can I get a roll in? What's your thinking, bro? I never thought I'd be able to do this. This is crazy. What did he say to you? I told him I met him before one time when he was at Children's Hospital. Yeah, wow. Crazy to see him like real life. That's your favorite player right there, Mark. That's crazy. I was the most famous. Thank you so much, Charlie. Dude, how do you feel right now? Unreal. Like a fake dream. I don't think it's real. It's insane. What was the thoughts? Like, who, who did you want to be like when you were little? Kobe. If I were to ask you right now, what's your dream? What would you tell me? This right here. This right now. What's up guys? How y'all doing? Got so it. what's your dream? Can it be materialistic? Yeah! I would like to get a car. A car? Yeah. What's holding you back from having a car? Just money? Uh, yeah. Just some money. What kind of car do you want? I like it's a Honda Accord Sport. Okay. Ooh, sport. Do you have a car right now or you ride the uh, bus? I don't have one. Is there anything wrong with your car right now? Uh, just the engine. The engine? Yeah, there's like something that's wrong with it. Okay. Okay. So this is this is the drive through a dream. So you never know what's gonna happen. I hope. <laughs> All right. We got a mission. All right. Let's get her a little token. Just something to, for her to hold on to to help manifest this car. Winning yeah. streak! All right. Shut up to the camera. Let me see that. <laughs> hey. Step one, we got a license plate so she can manifest her new car. And then let's go get a little bit more creative and find a piggy bank and like make decorate it and then give her some money. How much money should we give her? You just gonna have to find out. Let's start this savings account. And maybe we can get you to donate money with us. I need y'all to help me. There you go. Look at All that right. thing. Let's go decorate it. So we got everything we need. <laughs> Have a good one. And let's put some of this pretty stuff on there. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Is that our girl right there? Is that her? Here, let's pull up. Let's pull up. Okay. Hey. Remember me? I got something for you. Yeah, I was just working on it. I was literally in the parking lot, work making it for you. <laughs> well, I just came back, but I wanted to give you this. It's a piggy bank for you to save up for a new car. Oh, thank you. I really believe in manifestation. Uh -huh. So like sometimes like you just gotta like feel the future. No. So. <laughs> So I want you to like put this on your car so that it could feel like it's a new one because you're gonna get a new one. I really like you. Okay, well you can have this, uh -huh. but I want to start your um, savings because I see yours and it's, <laughs> it's time for a new one. I want to give you $700. Oh my God. Really? Yeah. Stop, really? <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. We love when people have a dream. And when you said that your dream was just to have a new car, uh -huh. we were like, we want to help her. Really? I really would love to see you in a new car Thank one day. So Bye! Thank you. Get home safe, okay? We gotta pull this off before our flight leaves. We only have one hour. We gotta get her to Japan. Okay. Okay. Is she right here? What's your dream? Yeah, what's your dream? Um, travel the world. Travel the world? Where do you want to go? I go to Japan. I want to see, like, where I'm from. Mm -hmm. You've never been to Japan? No. Really? Yeah. What's holding you back from that? Money. Money? Yeah. Ooh, good to meet you, Sherry. Have a good one. Bye. Bye, Sherry. We're looking up flights to see how much it costs to go to Japan. Might be able to make something happen. Let's see. 
Get her like a little Polaroid camera or something like that. Look, that she can fill up I like all the that. Memory. We gotta pull this off before our flight leaves. We gotta find where to get a Polaroid camera and a scrapbook. Let me set the timer. We gotta be at the airport in one hour. Come on. You found the scrapbook? Oh, they're out? 57 minutes. Come on. You also a Polaroid camera? I'll go ahead and move. Okay. Okay, we got 52 minutes. We need a scrapbook so anything, bad. Anything. There's it's in here no. in the mall. It's seven minutes away, then find All right, thank you. Seven Don't minutes away. Fine. Come on, Chuck. Come on, baby. Come on, Chuck. All right, so Charlie and the boys are headed to Ben Franklin Crafts to pick up a scrapbook. I'm here with Ben Franklin's, turning them into origami traditional cranes. Thirty-five minutes. Just had photos. This is it. Are you rest? I am, but no, no, it's fine. It's fine. We gotta get her to Japan. Right now, we have 26 minutes. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, we just got back to the mall. We got less than 13 minutes. We're waiting on Max to finish the origamis with the $700. All right, we're waiting on Max, man. I just gotta fold the wing. Okay, how many? That's one bill? No, that's three. That's 300? Let's go. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. There's four cars ahead of us. Okay. Is she right here? No. No. Yeah, she got. She went home early. Are you kidding me? No. So now we got to get to the airport. Max, I'm gonna cancel my flight. I'm gonna stay another. However long I gotta stay, I'll come back here every day until I see it. We got a game plan, thank you, Max. Max is saving the day. So we came back to the Starbucks. It's pouring rain and Sherry is not working today. So I'll be back tomorrow. Sherry here? Damn it. Sherry's not here today? This is our third day back, by the way. Day four. Day five. Day five! I'm trying to find Sherry. I don't even know her last name. I don't know nothing about her except she works at this store. It's right here. Oh boy, she better be here because this is my last day in Hawaii. You know, is Sherry here? Huh? Is Sherry here? Yeah, Sherry. Sherry, yeah. Hi! So, do you remember five days ago when me and Charlie Rocket came through on mopeds and we asked you what your dream was? Um, yeah. And you said you wanted to go to Japan? So we actually looked up flights to Japan uh -huh. and they're like 700 to $1,000. So we got you something. What? That's, that's $300. Oh. And this is seven, this is 400 more dollars. No, how much more? 700 more dollars. Yeah, you got $1,000 there. <laughs> so you can buy yourself a ticket to go to Japan. And we got you a scrapbook. <laughs> We got you a scrapbook so and, a, and an Instax camera. Oh my god, twice? You're on a winning streak. Oh my god, this is so thoughtful. So please enjoy. <laughs> Go to Japan, learn about your culture, have an amazing time. Oh, wow. oh my god, I'm like shaking. <laughs> I came back, so Charlie actually had to fly back to California. But I, I stayed and I've been coming back every single day trying to find oh you. So today's day five. I'm so happy I finally found you. <laughs> oh my god, thank you. You're so That's welcome. Nice Absolutely. Oh Absolutely. God. Yes. Oh my god, that was amazing. That was amazing, guys. Oh, I'm shaking. Five days, it finally happened. We made her dream come true. She's crying. She's so happy. Oh. <laughs> what is your biggest dream in life? To go to Australia. Australia? What's in Australia? Zebra Is there anything right now that you've been struggling with, going through? She's in treatment for leukemia. Oh, I'm so sorry. Why do you want to go to Australia? I just think it would have a lot of reptiles and it would be really cool. A lot of spikies?
Okay, so she can't go to Australia right now because of her treatment, but what if we brought Australia to her? We're trying to get a hold of Jay Prehistoric Pets right now so we can make her dream come true. Let's see if we can pull this one off. Oh my God, I just got a DM. Oh my God, her dream's gonna come true. Okay, we're about to surprise Camille right now. Jay Prehistoric Pets is inside and we got $1,000 for her to go to Australia. I can't wait to see her reaction. It's pretty, right? Oh. Mommy, can you get one? Is it a baby crocodile? It's a baby alligator! Oh. Want to see a bigger one? There is something on your head. <laughs> he looks like Spikey. Camille, we do have one more surprise for you. It is $1,000 no to start way. saving up for you to go to Australia. <laughs> do you know how much money that is? You need to get to go on that dream trip. Why need to go already? What? You Thank up? you. <laughs> and I always ask people what their dream is. So what is your dream? To get a good night's rest. A good night's rest? Yeah. Have you not been sleeping good lately? Um, I mean, just busy, you know? You've been busy? Yeah, I got school. Okay, okay. I love helping people. Okay. That's what I do every single day. Okay. Um, and that's why I ask people what their dreams okay. are. All right, so I might see you again. <laughs> All right. What's your name, Riley? Yeah. All right, Riley, I'm Charlie. Best night's sleep, here we come. Because we got you a gift. Well, I'm just confused. What, what's happening here? So this is the drive through of dreams. And so we got you a gift. Why? Because we love helping people every day. We ask everybody their dream. So here's a fuzzy blanket. Nighttime candles. Wow, okay. Here is some nice, relaxing face masks. Perfect. <laughs> here's a bedtime tea. And here's a nice brand of pillow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you a lot. I thought it was going to be something mean. No. So I had to double check. No, no, no. We literally okay. love I it helping was like people. A, a prank thing. No, we okay. literally. This is what we love doing okay, every thank day. You. Good luck with all your dreams. Thank you. you too. I just got a DM from the barista. Let's read it. I thought you were going to prank me or laugh or something like that. You have made my month truly. And I just wanted to say thank you so much. And I really appreciate what you are doing. Thank you again. I'm just really at a loss for words. My month overall has been pretty bad. Yesterday, someone ran a red light while I was going to work and crashed into my car and completely totaled it. Let's do something nice for to keep the winning streak going. But what does it turn into? Uh, she's like, what is hey, going? <laughs> what's up? I mean, it's crazy. I didn't even think I'd see you again. Uh, I thought I was coming back. <laughs> your dream. Just to get a good night's sleep. But what's your dream? <laughs> I need help with a car. On the phone with insurance like all day today. Not fun. I made a promise to myself that I was going to restore faith in humanity for you. So we got you. We <laughs> want you to just be happy. <laughs> You're looking at used cars. Like yeah. what's the price range? Ten to fifteen thousand. I'll pitch in. I'll pitch in a thousand dollars. Alright guys, Thank tomorrow you. we'll see you. So you gotta be here at 2 30. Yeah. So we'll be there like 1 45. Okay. Ma, you don't have to drive her to work tomorrow. 
All right, guys, Riley needs us. She needs some love. Riley's been going through a hard time. It's been tough. Her car got totaled. She's been dealing with some things. Today's going to be day three of her winning streak. Woo! But today, she's getting a lot of love. Are y'all ready, Dream Team? Let's go, Riley. We're on the way. Here we go. One minute. Okay. <laughs> Woo! 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 What's up, guys? Uh -huh. <laughs> She's like, this is amazing. <laughs> Isn't it crazy? But you're right. Bye. <laughs> dream team now. Riley. Dream team. Dream team. Little do you know. What's something you need help with right now? Uh, foot, well, a bed. I need a comforter. For a real. comforter? Yeah. Let's go to Walmart. Go buy me one? Yeah. Right, let's go. All right. Okay. All right, meet me <laughs> over there. All right, thank All right. you so much. You're on a winning streak. Oh, you lucky value. So you take this to the folks sitting. Look, I got muffins, oranges, because I got this yeah. stuff that I give to the people. Yeah. Right, my dream is to finish my third book. Third I have book. a, and it's called There's Still Tomorrow, so look it up. Get the spot ready. Here we go. Oh my goodness. This is going to be the magic Oh color. my goodness. Look at this. <laughs> Where did you get this? In the, at the end of the day, at the bottom of the night, when the bases are loaded and you got one hit left, for what would come to be would be great. All from the dreams that they said would never happen. Mm. So it's going to all come, you know, just like right now. This was your dream. We're about to go surprise Shelby. Back at the red light near the Walmart because last night, when I put her story on my Instagram, one of the biggest literary agents in the world reached out to me and said, let's make Shelby's dream of being a published author come true. Must be with Queen Shelby. Ah, <laughs> how do you know about me already? He's a literary agent. Oh biggest. my God, are you serious right now? He's, he's one of the biggest in the world. Are you serious right now? <laughs> stop it! Stop it! <laughs> hey, Queen Shelby, we're taking your words around the world. That's all I want to do is just get my words out there. Oh my God! I have a publisher for my book! I'm gonna have blisters on my fingers for mighty so much. So <laughs> my words want to be published. Squire Earl <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> so uh, one of the biggest authors in the world, he's a friend of mine, and he's, <laughs> his name is Ashish, and he just released a number one poetry book last week. Are you kidding me right now? And sir? guess what he's gonna do? He's gonna help you write the oh forward. Oh my God! He's gonna help, and he's gonna write a forward for your book. This is the first time I think ever that I can remember in my 55 years that I've been lost. For what? <laughs> Not you. It's just the fact you told somebody your dream is what opens up the portal mm -hmm. for it to come true. So many people keep their dreams to themselves and they'll always say like, oh, don't tell anybody you'll jinx it. I think that's devil talk. Yeah. Tell everybody your dream. I almost gave up. Right in the middle of a breakthrough, but couldn't see. The devil tried to take me, but Jesus, he forgave me and he held me close so I wouldn't let go. Stop it! This is my favorite. Stop it! What's your dream? My dream? Yeah, like in life. To be a teacher in France. To be a teacher in France? Yes. That's amazing dream. I want to be close enough to Spain to get good cheese, but still be in France where there's good wine. Okay, let's talk about that dream at the window. I love dreams, so that's All why right. I always ask people. All right, I mean, you'll have to tell me your dream at the window. I will. Vega, Vega, Vega. <laughs> I got a question. Yeah. What's holding you back from that dream? Money. Money? Yeah. When do you get off work? Six. Six o'clock? Okay. 
We'll see you again. You'll see me again. We'll see you again. Okay. okay, we got 15 minutes. We gotta hurry up, guys, before she gets off work. Get some wine, get some cheese. She wants friends. We gotta get back to the Starbucks before she gets off. Oh, I see it. Damn, missed the turn. We're almost out of gas. We're like past the line. Okay, we got okay. the good parking spot. Come on, guys. Come on. Okay. You gotta hurry up. French wine. Nine minutes left. It's a cheese. Cheese. Uh, it's over there. Run. Cheese. Spanish. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Seven minutes. Ah! Five, Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes, Megan, until you get off work. Hi, how are you? Mega! Hello. Now, you are officially on a winning streak. I'm on a winning streak? Yeah. I'll see you at the window. I'll show you what. Okie dokie. <laughs> Vega. We were limited in time because you were about to get off from work. That is true. But we went and we got you some stuff first. We wanted to start your savings fund with a couple hundred dollars. No. And we got you something special. Mm. <laughs> this is my favorite kind of cheese. Stop it! This is my favorite cheese. Stop it! <laughs> this is like I'm obsessed with this cheese. Are you kidding yes, me? Yes, Mitchego cheese! Are you kidding me? Yes, How did we know? I can't believe I got it exactly right. That's the magic of the universe. That's the magic. This We're on the same wavelength. Exactly. I am on a winning streak. You're on yeah. it! The magic of this universe is going to align things. Like, how did we know your favorite type of cheese? I don't know. But that's the universe. God wants you to go to France sooner. So expect it to happen sooner. Okay? okay. okay. You guys are the best. This is literally making my day. We'll see you in France, okay? Okay. I better see you in France. Bye, Vega. Bye. Thank you guys. See you, Vega. Vega like the stars. Street. <laughs>